Hey everyone, I wanted to come on here and do a video because I had such terrible technical issues with my last two videos trying to show y'all the mini album inside this mailbox. This is my next project and this is a paper mache mailbox by Doris and you get the uh, set of three mailboxes. You get this one, a medium, and a little small one. Uh, but I'm only using the medium version for this particular uh, project. Um, I tried to show you things that I've done with my mini album, but this is the mini album that I've created so far um, with the Georgia Blues uh, Paper Collection by Prima Marketing. As you see, it's a very chunky, loaded album. It is specifically uh, measured to fit inside that mailbox, and um, it has a magnetic closure, as you see here, very strong. I use very strong magnets, um, thanks to Ruby. Um, so I wanted to go through with you to show you what I've done with this album, and uh, let's get through it. So as you open the album, you see it's very chunky and full. Um, you'll notice on the inside binding here, because this is such a long album when it's opened, um, right here, whoever purchases this album, if you lift, I'm just going to do this with this, if you lift this part up here, um, you have a adhesive right here ready to slip a photo in or some sort of memorabilia. Um, also, so I'll show you the back side once I get to the back side. Um, right here on the front, you have a little book of tags, like a little book to hold a bunch of tags. These tags have all of the memorabilia, I mean the ephemeras, the stickers, and everything that come into this collection except for these little blue flowers, which I purchased on Amazon. Um, these little blue flowers have rhinestones inside of them, and as you see, each little, this is the chipboard pieces from the collection, and uh, they're really, really cute flowers. I really like them. So um, I went through also and used some of the chipboard pieces, the tags that come in this collection. Um, I went all out when I bought this collection because I absolutely loved it. Um, these are stickers that are in the, wait a minute. These are stickers that are in the collection as well. And you'll see those throughout the album. Now, on each of my pages, you'll see that I have covered it with vellum, and there's a reason, and it's very smart. Ruby does it, and it's a very smart concept. Um, it's to keep your embellishments, such as these beautiful, chunky um, butterflies and all of this stuff, from hanging on stuff. As you see, if I were to leave this open, it would have hung on this, which would cause damage to the embellishments. So, it's an extra step, but it's an, a beautiful, very, it looks beautiful to me. Um, it's a very needed step when doing albums. It does take a little bit longer, but you know what? It's just like a little extra page and a little extra touch, and I actually love it. This is the, um, the waterfall, uh, hidden waterfall system that Ruby taught me. Um, I love her concept with it. Um, and as you see through these pages, I have on the edges put these beautiful gold pieces on the edges, the gold caps. That too uh, protects the pages and it adds a little gold tinge to the beautiful paper that is already uh, embossed in gold as you see there. I love this paper. Um, on this one, I made like a little area here uh, to put two little tags and then... Um, you are left open with this. You can put photos in here. You can write journaling. You can do a lot of stuff. There's tags in there uh, for you to add to it. Here is two tags. I know. I'm telling you, when this album is open, it is full. Um, this is a mat for a photo, but I just stuffed two tags in here. As you see, here's some stickers uh, from the collection. This is from Spellbinders. This is a Victorian Elements uh, die. Um, on this side, as you open the vellum or the acetate, you have a place for a mat. And then here is some tags and, um, and one of those beautiful, uh, you can't see it. Hold on. <laughs> uh, 
this is the tags and the be one of the beautiful butterflies that come in the collection. Okay, so let's move this over here. <laughs> um, this page here um, is again a mat and then it has a, uh, a beautiful saying that comes in the ephemera and this is a chipboard piece. And as you see, all of them are beautifully matted in, I mean, uh, binded in really nice. They're individually binded into the page because when you're working with something bulky, you have to individually bind uh, each page. Um, this is the acetate pieces, and I thought it would be fun to glue a piece of the acetate onto um, here. And I thought it would be gorgeous. Just add another little simple touch. Um, here's a bookmark tag, as you can see. And I'm going to put this right there. And then you have these two little tags you can use throughout the book. Then here, this is magnetized to open up, and you have room for journaling. You have room to do things, and you have two additional memos right here to put photos. You can slip right into there using, again, the Spellbinders die with some gold um, cardstock. And then you can put that right into there, like so. Then on this side, you have a um, place to put a photo. And this is raised up for you to be able to do so. As you see here, you have plenty of room to put your photo. And then here, you have another tag. And you can put other memorabilia in there. Then on the back of the book here, you have, I thought this was a cute little addition. It's just, I would love this piece in their um, ephemera. And it says, friends are absolutely wonderful. And then you can write stuff on the back here, again, using one of the stickers throughout the collection. And on the pages here, I'm going to flip back real quick to the waterfall. I have also utilized those cute little journaling stickers all at the end of these pages right here, which are really cute as well. Then we have this page, which is a simple page. Again, I put a real pretty piece of the uh, acetate onto the um, acetate. And then here is a place for a photo. And then again, right here, as you see, I left this open to where you can slip the photo right into there. And then on the back of here, it's left open for whatever you want to do. You can glue one of those tags or one of those mats onto here you can write something real pretty you can tape something in there from whom you know whatever you're wanting to do and then on the back again i mimic the front and on this side instead of it being a larger opening i use the smaller opening and again you have room and i use these beautiful little um jewels that come in the collection and on the back of every tag that i made i'll show you here i put one of these real pretty navy blue rhinestone flowers and then on the back I have one of the jewels so my tags the tags are very well dressed both front and back um, everything is inked um, all the edges are inked and I used to with this collection um, I used um, stormy sky by Ranger, Tim Holtz, Stormy Sky, which is really, really, excuse me, which is a really, really, it matches it really pretty. And also, we, uh, Weathered Wood, yeah, Weathered Wood matched it very well, too. So, I alternate it throughout the book. And finally, right here, I did a little shaker box, as you see, like that. I did a little shaker box. I thought it would be super cute right there into that uh bend section and when you close up the album as you see oh that's my vitamin close up the uh, album like that and I am going to dress the outside of the album and it fits beautifully in that mailbox in which I'm going to decorate with the same papers and uh, I can't wait this is a beautiful beautiful concept um, this will be for sale in my exhibit store um, I can't tell you. <laughs> It'll be ready before Christmas. Uh, I will guarantee you can get it before Christmas if you order it. Um, 
but I'm going to get it done and hurried up and get it in the store in case you want to purchase this for a gift. Um, it's a beautiful album. I'm so excited about it. I took a lot of detail and care into it and um, I tried to make sure that you had plenty of things to where you can put mementos. In fact, if you want to commemorate some, like a, something you did this past summer with you and your girlfriends or you and your sister or brother or whatever, um, and you want to tell a story, this is a great way to do that because the tags and stuff uh, really say precious. It says, keep the ones that heard you when you never said a word. And then here, you know, you have different little uh, things like these right here say, um, be happy, let's do this together, come together. So it's very friendly, family um, oriented. So it's a very beautiful collection. And it's called the Georgia Blues by Prima Marketing. I absolutely had to have this collection because it was absolutely beautiful so again i am so sorry you didn't get to watch the process of this album i tried and i was having technical issues with youtube and everything and it just broke my heart that you couldn't see all of the details i was putting into the album so um again i want to thank you all for being patient and also for accepting the fact that i couldn't show you how to do this album but that doesn't mean there's going to be lots and lots and lots of more stuff coming trust me trust me so um again thank you all so so much and um have a wonderful thanksgiving love you all and thank you for your support and i'll see you after turkey day bye